Welcome to a presentation about tea brought to you by your neighborhood doctors. Please remember that we will cover the topic in general terms. Please consult your doctors for specific questions pertaining to you. An analogy for this condition is like a car that has a flat tire. The car is still able to move, but it's not running as smoothly as it should be. In the same way, your body is still able to function, but it's not running at its optimal level due to this condition. To get the car back up and running, you need to replace the flat tire with a new one. Similarly, in order to get your body back up and running optimally, you need to treat this condition. Symptoms of this condition can vary from person to person, but some common symptoms include fatigue, joint pain and swelling, stiffness in the morning and difficulty moving the affected joints. Other symptoms may include fever, weight loss, rashes and eye inflammation. If you experience any of these symptoms or any other unusual symptoms that concern you, please contact your doctor right away. Demographics of this condition can vary depending on the type of condition. Generally, certain conditions are more common in certain age groups or genders. For example, some conditions are more common in older adults, while others are more common in younger adults. Additionally, some conditions may be more common in males than females or vice versa. It is important to understand the demographics of a condition so that you can be aware of any potential risk factors and take steps to reduce your risk. The cause of this condition is not always known. In some cases, it may be due to a genetic predisposition or a family history of the condition. It can also be caused by environmental factors such as exposure to certain chemicals or toxins or even stress. In some cases, the cause may be unknown treatment for this condition will depend on the severity of your symptoms. If your symptoms are mild, lifestyle changes such as avoiding triggers, getting enough rest, and managing stress can help. You may also benefit from medications such as antihistamines or decongestants to reduce inflammation and relieve symptoms. If your symptoms are more severe, you may need to take corticosteroids or other immunosuppressant medications to reduce inflammation and prevent flare-ups. In some cases, allergy shots may be recommended to help reduce sensitivity to allergens. Your doctor may also recommend other treatments such as nasal irrigation or humidifiers to help keep your nasal passages clear and reduce congestion. It is important to follow your doctor's instructions carefully and take all medications as prescribed in order to get the best results from treatment. Prognosis for this condition is generally good. With proper treatment, most people can expect to make a full recovery. However, it is important to note that the recovery process may take some time and require ongoing care. Additionally, some people may experience long-term effects from the condition, such as fatigue or difficulty concentrating. It is important to follow your doctor's instructions and attend all follow-up appointments to ensure the best possible outcome. Thank you for listening to this presentation brought to you by Talking Raymond. For information, check us out retinally.com info. Be safe. Love you.